When the captain of the Toronto Maple Leafs, George Armstrong, was just a bantam hockey player in northern Ontario, he dreamed of a big league career. He followed the Leaf games on radio, just as you do nowadays on television, and he was convinced that someday he'd sign with the Leafs and become a star in the National Hockey League. George knows what it means to a youngster to meet an NHL player. That's why, every year, he travels north to the annual Minor Hockey League Banquet in Falconbridge, where his own hockey career began. It gives him the chance to encourage young players like yourself and give them the benefits of his years of experience in Canada's national game. Life as a player in the National Hockey League is great. It has given me many things such as fame, personal satisfaction, and many of the material things that I wanted in life. To become a big leaguer, you must be prepared to do many things. You must be prepared to give up uh, a lot of things which you would like to do, and you must be prepared to work hard at becoming a hockey player. You have to have desire and you have to practice as hard as you can as well. By practice I mean every chance you get to skate you must, be, you must work at it and you must skate as long and as hard as you can. You have to practice shooting as much as you can also. You have to practice shooting with your wrists and you have to practice accuracy. A hockey player makes the National Hockey League has not made it easily. He has given up many things and he has worked hard at it. When George speaks to these wide-eyed youngsters in his hometown, he thinks back to the day when he was their age and he had a chance to meet Sil Apps, the former Toronto Maple Leaf captain. Now George is the Leaf captain and Punch Imlac claims he's the best team captain in the National Hockey League. There are many intangibles that go to make up George's tremendous value to the Leafs. He has an inner strength which he quietly transmits to the rest of the team and is particularly good at making rookies and newcomers welcome to our club. A good captain's main job takes place off the ice and that's where Armstrong shines. As team captain, George Armstrong feels obligated to set an example to the other players in the club. He does this by patrolling right wing to the very best of his ability. Right wing is the position which I play. I'm not a left winger, or nor am I a centerman. I should always be in position to take a pass on offense, and I should also always be in position to back check at all times. Scoring goals is very important, but it is just as important to stop goals as it is to score goals. He also has a few thoughts on back checking, and one person in particular gives him a lot of trouble, Bobby Hall. Uh, he is a, the toughest man in the league to check as far as I am concerned because he plays the left wing. Uh, I try to stay about four or five feet away from him and not get too close to him because he's very strong and he can push you off and, and beat you that way. Uh, I try to stay a half a step ahead of him at all times because if I get even with him with his great speed he can pull pull even with you very quickly and be past you before you know it. Uh, uh, Naturally, I don't. All, I'm not always successful, but uh, uh, him being such a great goal scorer, if you stop him the majority of the time, you feel that you've done a pretty good job. Many forwards fail to click in the National Hockey League because they neglect their back checking. Not George Armstrong. Punch Imlac says he's one of the best checkers in the club. Every National Hockey League forward thinks mostly about scoring goals, but the real good ones know that you have to be able to check to stay in the National Hockey League. George learned this early, and all I can say is, if youngsters want to pick up the fundamentals of checking, they have only to watch George Armstrong. A good checker usually makes for a good penalty killer. During his 15 years in the National Hockey League, George Armstrong has learned a great deal about this specialized aspect of hockey. Penalty killing uh, is a tough job if you don't have the right partner. Luckily for me, I kill penalties with Davey Keehan, who is a uh, fine skater and uh, a fine man to anticipate the opposition's moves. Uh, when you work uh, with another man, you have to have a system. Davey and I have our own system, which we use on the opposing teams. Davey is the faster skater of the two, so I let him go in early, 90% uh, of the time, and he tries to force the man behind the net or wherever they may be to make the play to one particular side. I, I try to anticipate that side and I move there perhaps a step or two ahead of time and in this way we, tr we disorganize them 
uh, as much as possible. Let's summarize George Armstrong 